Good morning, austere citizens of the United Kingdom. I've got some very important news to break for you. This is the front page of my website, Professor George Lee's Revelations, and I've just changed the title at the top to The Unison Boss, Dave Prentice, is stealing from all public sector workers and all British citizens. He is on the core aka the board of the Bank of England. I'm going to make this a five minute video or so so that the people of the world, that is the nurses of the world, that is all of the civil servants of the world, that is all of the council administrators, dustbin men, doctors, administrators in the local clinics, NHS employees all over the UK, all of the lecturers, all of the teachers, primary, secondary, tertiary, everything could be paid for by the Bank of England. That is its commitment constitutionally, but since it was taken over by the Rothschild family in 1815, it has now become a private funding streams for super elite rich people, like the people that train the courtiers at the Bank of England. That's Carney, that's our Chancellor at the front there, and you've got at the back European magnates along with Mervyn King here at the front, who's now retired. When this picture was taken, he was the boss. The boss now at the Bank of England is Mark Carney, and if you want to go to the website that I discovered this frightening information on, then you need to look up www.bankofengland.co.uk about pages, people, core, ASPX. Then you can get images of £8,000 a year, Mark Carney. It will not work first time. They will try and divert your attention from the horrible truth that this is an international cabal of people that are joined hip to hip with the IMF, the World Bank, the ECB, the European Central Bank, all of them are stealing taxpayers money and treasury revenues from the nations that are now impoverished. So if you're a nurse or any of the public sector employees in any of the councils all across Britain, you need to tell your council leader that you're going to string him up unless he holds these people to account. What they do now is to issue money to their friends, then they lend it to you and your children who have a £50,000 overdraft because of their greed in this system. The student loans company is entirely a theft project and many of the mums that I now meet understand that. They have to go out and clean in the mornings and evenings to send their children into that education. They have no prospect of a job anywhere in the UK because all of the jobs now go into the globalised world abroad where labour is cheaper and you can use it to spark ethnic hatred if they come to the UK and do the job here. That's Carney. He gets £800,000 a year as a Canadian to be the unelected boss appointed by Osborne in our Bank of England. He gets 250000 allowance for his housing costs in the City of London, which is a massive cost to the people because of the frauds. Also on the board, you have the directors of companies like Cairn that have no products at all. They're the people that are registered in Edinburgh that sell only coupons for virtual oil and gas frauds. All of the leaders get knighted, uh, like the leader of the United Force who's been knighted for his role in protecting this system in Scotland and for wrecking the uh, concept that Scotland could be independent and free of the tyranny and the financial services crimes. Okay, so Dave Prentice, General Secretary of Unison, is in control of the issuance of public money 
in the UK. Let me show you the magnitude of that statement and what it means for the world. I care not, that's Nathan Rothschild, I care not what puppet is placed upon the throne of England to rule the empire upon which the sun never sets. The man who controls Britain's money supply controls the British Empire and I control the British money supply. That statement was made in 1815 when they crashed the stock market in a scam beyond the Napoleonic battle at Waterloo. Everything is a theft project now and Dave Prentice earns £115,000 to steal from every one of his hard working and underpaid members. He's not unique. With Rodney Bickerstaff and many other leaders of the union movement, the union movement, its leaders for the whole of the period between 2010 and today get all of my emails. None of them do anything about it. Last night I spent hours posting things on Facebook to all of the hospitals I'm aware of telling all of their staff members who are in that pay freeze that all they need to do is to let the union leader know that they're onto them and that I will reveal the business interests of all of those union leaders if they just send me a polite email or they join me as friends on Facebook. Uh, here's the statement that I sent all around the world to many universities and to many hospital sectors. The person who's in charge of Facebook, like the leader of the student union for the UK, is likely to be paid to desert his cause. So what I'm telling you is that we've got corruption in unison, NHS, politics, law enforcement and particularly in the Bank of England. And my message last night that went all around the country is all your public sector staff, lecturers, teachers, nurses, council admin, police, emergency services, dustbin men can have a pay rise if you let this news out. All students get educated free when this is outed. If your mates are pissed off with the seven year pay freeze all across the UK public sector, then please just share the news and tell your MP that you're onto it and that your local councillors need to have the courage to make a stand and everybody can have all of the public services back that are being asset stripped by people like David Prentice. I've changed the front page of my website so that you can now see the horrible truth, truth really quickly uh, and that is it there there's the front page of my website. The Unison boss Dave Prentice is stealing from all public sector workers. That's google.com, Prof George Lee's revelations. That should get you the hits. If you can't get the hits, then please get in touch or look for my website. Use it and all of the interviews I've made are on the YouTube channel. Uh, Go to YouTube, then look for Smithsonian Kelsonian channel. Everything is a fraud. Everything that you are being charged for in your taxes, in your public services, payments, your rates, all of it has been privatised by these people in the last 30 years. The Europeans now own everything that used to be owned independently in Scotland. And the hour-long video I made on that can be found directly below this one on that YouTube channel. If you want the details and you're a genuine working man and you want your salary back and the prospects of paying and being able to thrive beyond the payment of your energy bills, it is a multinational scandal that you are being robbed by the political sector and the money lenders that run every central bank across the world now since NATO's armies began to be paid by these bastards. I should not swear because I want this message to go out to the school children 
who ultimately pay for all of this in 30 or 40 years time. Everything is done on credit by design so that the interests are never paid and that is why every country in the world is in a sovereign debt crisis. It is not Dave Prentice's fault. He is coerced into that like every local councillor and every MP into cheating from their citizens because that is the best way that the thieves can run the world illegitimately and fraudulently. It is a global mafia. Write to Unison and tell them that you understand it now and when you want to have the truth in your protests about your pay being frozen I would be delighted to appear and talk for nothing. The whole of my campaign is amateur on principle that professionalism is expertise in fraud and cheating your customers, your patients, your students, your school children. All of it is a crime against the people. I'm going to stop there now because it's damaging for my cause if I talk for longer than 10 or 15 minutes. People do not have the att attention span. But now that all of those people who've been robbed by the system are rendered unemployed, then they realize that the game is up. And that is why so many people, including this man, the former boss at the court of the Bank of England, Sir David Lees, has resigned in panic in recent years. You can see, if you can find that website, who's replaced him. There it is, the Bank of England. That citation there at the bottom of the opening image that I've already relayed to you reveals you who the current directors are. And at least in this place, they change the office bearers for shame within a five year cycle. Mark Carney, gets his 800,000 a year and the 250,000 housing allowance without any need to be elected or to have the quality of his job in stealing from the world's people audited by anyone in law enforcement which is why Stephen House is Sir Stephen House and he earns 250,000 pounds a year to screw people in Scotland who could have been independent it goes all the way into the judiciary, the law enforcement sector and the Holyrood Parliament building. One of the recipients of my email messages last night was Christine, the MP for MSP for Peebles, Christine, I've forgotten her name. She knows that she's got the message. She will not respond to it. I'm going to stop. You need to talk to all of your friends who work with you if you've had your pay frozen by the system. Last year you got a 1% pay rise because my truths are beginning to filter through and it is res it's creating a spate of resignations. Okay, so there's Dave Prentice. I'm stopping at this point. The biggest union leader, like his predecessor, uh, Rodney Bickerstaff, they are on the boards for companies that control the future of China and the public policy research unit with the Rothschilds who run all of these scams and effectively own every central bank, that's every central and federal bank that controls the issuance of money in every country now, which is why every country is in sovereign debt and you cannot afford to pay their massive energy bills.